And now I want to talk to you about websites for agents using subdomains. And this is for IDX Broker. Mm, I don't know where to start, but let's say that in IDX Broker, it works uh, using subdomains. And you can customize it to be something like this, like search.miamihomes.com. And the idea with this uh, solution that we are offering is that you can create websites for your agents uh, in high level using this structure, this, this subdomain structure like ronaldo.miamihomes.com or Becky or whatever uh, you want, but following this subdomain uh, structure. Mm -hmm. I want to show you uh, how it's going to work. The idea of this is that you need to add a cookie on the agent homepage. And this cookie is like a little piece of information uh, that is added to the website and it's going to be persistent across all the IDX pages. So when a visitor navigates to the IDX workers domain, uh, it will recognize this agent and it's going to be it's it's going to be showing the agent information across the IDX pages. And I'm going to show you an example. And we have a client that is already using this. Uh, this is their website. They have a nice website built in high level and they customize uh, this template and they have, um, well, this is their main broker website but they created a website for each agent. This is the IDX broker um, roster page. And as you can see, their subdomain is homes.hogginsrealty.com. So for example, let's go to Patrina's website. And first let's see that this is uh, her subdomain. Somewhere here, well, the this script or cookie was added. So now that I'm here, it's loading Batrina's cookie. Mm -hmm. How can I see this? Um, the first thing you can do is, for example, let's go uh, to one of their pages and it's going to load here their IDX pages. And now I can go to any, like click on any of these uh, properties. And if I go back uh, at the bottom of the page, I'm going to see the contact um, form. And I'm going to see here Batrina's uh, information. She is the, if I sign up and create a new account, I'm going to be assigned to Batrina's. Another um, update, or how to say this, like another difference is that, for example, here in Batrina's website, She's using a different header because it's it doesn't have the agent's um, menu item. So we also have an app that is going to like match your agent's header and footer to the IDX pages. So it looks like it's Batrina's website, but they are sharing the, um, the IDX feed. And let's take a look at other um, agent, for example, to Patricia. I'm going to go now to Patricia's uh, website. And again, if I search for a property, somewhere here, it, the cookie was added. And if I search for a property and open another of these, it's, it should show Patricia's information here at the bottom. So if I sign up using Patricia's website, I'm going to be assigned to Patricia's. And well, this is how we recommend if you want to create agent websites using high level, this is the way we recommend to do this. Why? Because you can create multiple websites in high level. It doesn't matter if you create them in the same sub account or in different sub accounts, but like this is a very easy way to do, to do it. You can create if you want, you can create a template that is going to be used by all of your uh, agents and you only need like to add the cookie and that's it. 
Do you only need like to follow this subdomain structure? Thank you.